Hello and welcome to the completed Frena build. So if you saw my previous video, I said there was a lot of potential with Frena and I wasn't sure if I wanted to max it or not. But yeah, I had nothing else to do at the weekend. So I just played all night, used up a bunch of catalyst and I have come with an all-round Frena build. Now I was working on a separate bossing build as well, but I kind of want to farm some more catalyst before I attempt that because I am running low on catalyst. So let me show you the build and then just go over it and tell you the intention behind this build. So I have ended up using nine catalysts and of course the energy activator. And this is what I've come up with for general purpose mobbing. And also you'll be fine with bossing as well with this one. You won't kill the boss in one rotation before it goes in its enraged phase, but you'll do it in the second round. So it's pretty straightforward. I've tried it on multiple bosses. If you see the videos on YouTube where people kill a boss in five seconds, it's this is not going to do that. But you'll still be comfortable. You'll beat the boss without any issues. So, as you all know, with my builds, um, I try to cover everything. So, all the different type of missions, mobbing, bossing, and I also like to have some decent health as well because I just don't like glass cannon builds. Now you can tweak it based on your preference but here is what i've come up with so i'll show you some of the things here and you may be surprised with how good the numbers are here so for my first ability the venom trauma i've brought down the cooldown to two seconds 2.1 from normal 11 seconds is down to two seconds only and uh, duration is 5.7 so two second cooldown five sec 5.7 seconds almost three times the duration of the cooldown so i went high with the duration now the range i was unlucky with the different setups i couldn't get the range to max out as much as i wanted but we are still doing pretty good so four is the normal four meters i've managed to bring it up to 9.8 almost 10 max will be 12 so we are almost 10 i think that is good enough um, then we have the plague armor 20 second cooldown i've brought it down to under four three uh, cooldown is 25 normally I brought it down to under 5 and duration is 17.1 so more than three times the duration duration is three times more than the cooldown so you'll have that available all the time and it is crazy especially in those uh, defense missions I tried this out in the defense mission and it was just green all the time I was just throwing my queue as long as you have some enemies dying and you are getting some of the MP back this is fantastic so the other things, Toxic Footprint 11.1, Venom Soul 14.2, Room Zero Trauma 8.5 seconds. And then our ultimate, have a look at the cooldown. Normally it's 110 seconds. I brought it down to 21.4. That's a huge improvement. And of course, if you pair it with the right gun with some extra ammo, your ultimate will be ready every 21 seconds. And that is huge in boss fights. And you can pull it out and take down the boss much much faster so like i said this is a mobbing build so i'm not even sort of looking at this fourth ability uh, i'll be mostly using the first and the third q and v and this is what i've come up with so basically of course as you know i prefer using long distance maneuvering so we have that here for the sub module for the transcendent module we are going with contagion so if you saw my previous video Contagion removes the poison or the final thing that is added in the uh, new update and it just creates more explosions when an enemy dies it creates an explosion transfer the puddle and the room zero trauma so it just creates a massive puddle so if you hit one enemy with your Q they die they explode they create puddles and it's a 50% chance I believe but it does a lot of damage so I think if you see here we have 50% toxic puddle spawn rate. So if you're killing a lot of enemies, half of them will create puddles, which will spread to other places. Some, sometimes the damage was going so far that I was just wondering, like, how, how did that guy get? How, how is that area green all the way over there? It was that impressive. Now, of course, we need to reduce the cooldown. As you saw with how low the cooldown is, I'm using cooldown. We are losing a little bit of MP because of that, but we're getting a massive reduction in the cooldown. Then we have a couple of health mods because we need a little bit of health. As you know, I like to put health. Also, we are losing some shield from this one. 
Uh, then we have amplification control. So I have this one to increase the range and we are getting our shield back, which we are losing here. So shield is at zero basically, but uh, we are not losing anything at the moment. Increase defense. And we have these two modes. This is where our power comes from. Focus on tech and focus on toxic. And we also get some more cooldown from these two. So we are getting uh, for the 12.2% with these two. Um, where else were we getting that thing? 36% here. Total we are 74% uh, skill cooldown. That is quite a lot as you can see. Then we have these two for range and duration. So your range of your toxic stuff, we need to increase that and uh, duration. Both these two things will help spread this uh, venom, poison, zoom zero trauma to enemies and to just help out. And then nimble fingers for more cooldown. Now you could swap this out for something else because we already have so much. We have 74, 75%. If we remove this, we'll be still at 50%, which will still be amazing. So what we see here, we are still at five seconds. So more than the cooldown. Uh, the duration is still more than the cooldown, uh, 9 here, but over here you can see it's 50%. So yeah, I, I've kept that because I'm trying to go for a very low cooldown, so I have things available all the time. Nimble fingers. Let's put that back here. So this is the module setup, but of course this build is not complete without looking at the external components as well and the reactor. So the reactor I have is the same one I've been using previously. It's for the secret garden. Again, it gun doesn't matter in this build because you'll be using your abilities to do everything. So this is basically a good alternative to bunny. And yeah, you can just spread toxins everywhere. I was completing infiltration dungeons without using the gun, even once, even with the boss. So once again with this reactor i got a bit lucky i got good cooldown and also skill critical hit damage so a little more damage from the skill now there are a few other modules uh, reactors that i've saved up so for example this one this is basically the same thing as the other but this mounting is for nazistra's devotion cooldown is even better um skill critical hit damage is about the same but 62 uh, 6.2 percent and 7.4 it doesn't make a huge difference if I'll just put it to show you that you only save a fraction. So if you remember this was 2.1, this is 2. This was 21.4, I think this is 20.1. So yeah, minor improvement. You can go for that if you want, if you prefer. I mean, it's no harm for me. Um, where did we put that one? Uh, I have quite a few of these. Uh, skill cool. Yeah, that's all. Okay, so this is the reactor and like I said, I have multiples. If you are going for a boss build, something like this, skill duration up is also something you can add. Skill critical damage would be good. Uh, range would be good. Toxic power boost ratio. Uh, tech power boost ratio. These things, anything that will increase your damage or your duration or reduce your cooldown. Any combination depending on how you have set up things will work. Now, previously I had mentioned the Venom Essence set, which is what I was using. You can still use that, but because I'm not using the gun anymore, uh, I did not see much point in having a four set for Venom Essence, because if you have the four sets, four pieces, what you get is your status trigger rate from your gun. That gets a further boost, and you also get a little more damage stacks if you shoot enemies who are inflicted with poison but like i said we are not even shooting the gun so what i did instead was i went with two piece from the venom essence instead of four and two piece from annihilation this is like the common setup uh, people have also been using the slayer set but again i'm not using the gun so i don't need more ammo and stuff like that so what we are getting is 6.2 percent toxic power increase with the two piece venom essence and I'm getting 5.7 duration increase with uh, Annihilation. So best of both worlds in my opinion. So we are getting more duration on our abilities and more power uh, also for our abilities. 
So this is what I've come up with. I'm more than happy with this. Again, guns don't matter now. What you need is if you are using your fourth ability, you need to put a bunch of these, um, uh, you could say, a mods that increase your weapon ammo on your weapon or have mods like sharp precision shot that will scale up the damage because it tends to transfer on your fourth ability. So most of the stuff doesn't, but these mods seem to do it. Um, expanding the ammo seems to work as well. So you could do that and that will give you an increase on your ammo. So yeah, this is the build I've come up with. I'm more than happy because she's now genuinely a good alternative to money and you can basically clear all sorts of missions. You just throw your Q and you don't even have to look at them because if one dies, it causes explosions, more die, more die. Just a chain reaction happens and everything is green, covered in green. So yeah, it's this is pretty good. I, I like this setup now. So yeah, Prena is in a very good spot. And with the time I've spent uh, coming up with this build, when Ultimate Prena comes in, I could just simply use the same setup. Uh, I wish it was uh, possible for us to just transfer all our progress and the catalyst straight to the ultimate because then I have everything ready. But yeah, I decided to use up my catalyst to come up with this because it was something that I was thinking all the time and I was coming up with pills in my head when I was lying in bed. And I thought, okay, why not just do it? I have a lot of blueprints for the catalyst. I'll just farm and research a bunch more before ultimate comes out so as long as i have a 10 extra i should be good i have another three four uh, energy activators as well so i'm good for Prena. so yeah let me know what you think um, i'm more than happy with this of course you can tweak a few things based on how you play also wanted to mention the health and damage as you know i like to have decent health and damage so with this build i've ended up with 15 and a half thousand health and 17 and a half thousand defense because of these mods i did a lot of runs on the devourer and um, the swamp walker to get the right but balancing them to get normally i like to have 25,000 defense and 10,000 health but uh that wasn't possible so i think this is good enough we also have a lot of shield which most people don't care but as something else there to help you out mp more would be nice but this wasn't uh, feeling like I was low on MP or anything. So yeah, overall, I'm very satisfied with this build. And yeah, I'll find something else to do for the next 10 days because we're still 10 days away from the big patch where Ultimate Frena comes. But anyway, hopefully this was fun and interesting. Thank you for watching. See you next time.